years. Okay. So um, you have to feel a lot, and you have to imagine a lot. You have to guess. You have to doubt, and at times you just have to suffer. Okay. Yeah. So at that time when when it uh, was this big thing, do you think other issues such as um, such as insecurities or low self-esteem actually came into play uh, between the characters. Specifically, I think for um, Oscar and Ellen. When I think that, I don't think um, I'm playing it with insecurity. Okay. So, no, no, no. I don't really agree with what I've gone through, you know, just what you're going through all your life. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. so and so on. Okay, that's okay. I don't really go through that. Okay. Do you want to share with us how or what I think you're going through? This is a great opening for me to find. I think you were you, you struggling with your your identity before you wanted to be an artist. This this, this is what I get it. Uh, no, no, not really. I think because it started off as a a repressed Asian gay boy trying to find come to terms with his own life in that sense, and uh, and when you go. It's like when I was exposed to different things, right? Be it a play or a film or whatever, the things that, that's related to play. It was more like for myself. Okay? Then, then until I got into theatre making, then things started to, started to change a little bit because my perspectives actually changed. Because at that time when I came out, I was getting more and more comfortable with myself. And like now, if I were to tackle a play on gender or was related to gay issues. It would be very, very different because I would talk more about um, how is it like to be a human being rather than specifically as a gay person or probably as a gay person play. So I sort of got tired of this whole gay thing in a way. Yeah. That was my answer. Okay, I started doing straight place before I started doing gay place, so <laughs> I don't really uh, share those sentiments. Um, I've, I've started wanting to, to perform, to do theatre even before I wanted to explore this, my identity of who I am. Okay. Yeah, so. so, I think through the years, um, correct me if I'm wrong, we do theatre, we are, we, are, we are not exactly bothered about very specific stuff nowadays. It's more like um, the general human condition and all that. Right? Yeah. So, was there ever a time when you were involved in a play or in a game play in itself? It was specifically to tackle or to think or ponder on issues related to gay people. I've only done uh, two gay plays. The first being Asian Bodies. Volume one. Volume one, year two thousand. And the other one would be this um, that I've just spoken about, Echo to Okay. Mm. So I don't think I'm in the capacity to answer your question. Okay. 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 Right. Um, okay. Can we? Can I pass the mic over? You want me to pass this mic? Okay. Please feel free to respond okay, and to talk a bit so that we have more things to talk about. Okay, I'll just project. <laughs> uh, you can use this. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you, Max. No, I'll project. <laughs> uh, okay, something I wanted to say. Uh, 
I used to think that you know, being gay and wanting to watch gay play was just something very as simple as uh, a Chinese American wanting to see a Chinese actor in a sitcom. You know, it's very simple. But um, um, after a few years of just being in the industry, I think for for gay men, for lesbian women, transgender transgender people, um, gay plays or the type of play is more than just um, entertainment. I think we use it as role models. We use it as um, a sort of a divine mouthpiece for our issues. We use it as our own gay history sometimes. So, so I think that's why a lot of people watch the plays. Sometimes it's, it's very simple and it's basically, oh, two guys in the show, let's go see. Yeah, I suppose that. Or a relevant issue. But. Do you think that people actually go to watch a game play for the wrong reason? Or, or if I were to put it in another way, is that, uh, you know, there's a lot of sentiments, I think for me at least, is that uh, when people go to watch a game play, they usually go in with a certain kind of preconceived idea. Or saying that, you know, a very limited set of uh, a limited set of um, ideas. So what do you think of I think they do do that because if the play is sold as a gay play, you're going to go in there expecting that as not just an incidental event or aspect of, um, of the show, but that being a key point. So of course they're going to go in with an expectation. Okay, uh, please uh, I'll ask you this question. Uh, you know that we, in the local theatre we have very different gay plays. I think not not recently, but I think last year and year before that. Have, have you watched one of them? Um, I've watched only that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, do you have any um, kind of a... What do you think of that? What do I think of that? I think it's a well, it's a well made play. Okay. It's a, I mean, it's a, it's a little sweet. We come from a little sweet. Yeah. Yes. I mean, for me, when I watch the play, usually what I do is that I watch, um, I actually look at the audiences around me and, and, and to watch their responses and all that. Do you? Yeah, you do. Okay. Uh, did you observe anything? Um, people engage. What, what do you want to ask for? Well, I, I, I mean, uh, do you see any other thing besides engagement? Like people might react towards it and all that. Usually, I mean, yeah. Uh, because sometimes I hear people, you know, talking. I mean, whispering. Oh, this guy's not cute at all. This guy can't can't be in a gay play because he just doesn't have sharp nose or whatever. But I think that's normal. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. That's so, normal. so, so there was, so there is a certain kind of expectation, and I think for for everyone when they go into a game play that uh, they they would expect that. Would would you say that's the first thing that they think of before they think of something else? What, what do you think? <laughs> I can judge because okay. I like Okay. I must be nice. Okay. Yes. Well, I I well just to ask you. Just like you know, when we have when we buy a CD or when we watch a movie, some of them want, uh, some of us want uh, a comedy to be a fashion comedy. Some of, some of us want the comedy to be an intelligent comedy. Of course, you can't uh, generalize in such a way. Um, some people go in expecting you guys to be the play. Some people go in to actually expecting a, uh, to expect a good script, good acting. You know. Uh, to expect messages, and um, I think a lot of people, uh, I think most of my friends, including myself, we want to watch the game play because we are, want to find, we want to identify sometimes with the messages, you know, uh, in the game play, like you know, uh, in a language of our own. Uh, of, our own. Uh, of, of course, uh, some, uh, you have a control level of it, you know, something about eight scare.